Hi, this is Jason France with Kingpin TV. Joining me today is Mr. Christopher Minolti. What's up? Doing? doing good? Sure. I think, I think I'm doing all right. Yes. We had sidekick names, we gave up on it. Nah. It doesn't make sense. It's all good. Like take four, we don't make sense. Right. Take, anyway, take five. <laughs> take five. We wanted to talk to you today about this awesome movement, and it's been going on for quite some time, right? Absolutely. Competing days back in the back, back in the late '80s, early '90s. Yeah, yeah. Why, wire detail was absolutely everything, uh, but it took absolutely oh, yeah. forever. Yeah, it took forever, yeah. and so a lot of shops stopped doing it. Right now, you're seeing a cool insurgence of a social media nowadays, where a lot of guys are doing this, and it's it should be done, right? It should be in there. And for you consumers that might be watching this, you should be wanting to pay a little extra money for this, for sure. A absolutely, from from a serviceability, from a reliability, from a longevity standpoint. Exactly. Definitely the way to put your stuff in. Exactly. So we get phone calls all the time going, hey guys, like, is there any way besides tape measure, pencil, you know, is uh, indexing with the center punch, yep. you know, lay this out, because it does take a while. Absolutely. So, we thought and put our heads together and said, well, what can we make things easier? You know, be retailers first, we understand what happens in that install bay, and we understand about time and get the projects done. So we said, well, what can we do to make this a little bit faster? And so what we came up with is our clean wire system. It's an 11 piece system, and it's really pretty cool how this works. On the 11 piece system, I'm gonna do this right here. It's indexed one through three, that's important to remember, and it yep. doesn't matter if it's the medium, or the long, or excuse me, the medium or the small stick, or the radius or the corner. It's basically one, two, three is what we need to learn. Right? Yeah, the three different indexes, yeah. the three different spaces. Exactly, because the kit is really as easy as one, two, three. Absolutely. Okay, so the first one here in the lineup is going to be uh, design, uh, and these are indexed right here to give you some guidelines. This is our single eight gauge RCA speaker wire. Um, this allows you to go ahead and put it on the board and you're able to quickly uh, take your drill bit and go down there and index that on there and get a nice perfect straight line that lines up every time. The cool part about this, just so you know ahead of time, is between uh, one and a half inches between each circle. Uh, you could skip one and make it three inches, you could skip two and make it four inches, and if you're really gusto, you can make it six inches. Mm -hmm. We all strive for that six inch spacing sometimes. <laughs> Okay, um, the second one, which is the number two, is the dual eight gauge, single four, nine wire, couple speaker wires, name your game, that's what it is. It just allows a little bit of separation between those, so it's a perfect wide for the thickness of that. And there's the big dog. And here's the big dog, number three, coming in, weighing 240 pounds, <laughs> right? The dual four gauge, do, uh, excuse me, dual four gauge, dual, dual four gauge, two gauge or one gauge, yep. as we all know, we can also do four, Four eight gauges, a couple couple sure. of nine wires and some RCAs. You know, it, it's extremely flexible, but we put down some guidelines of the stuff that we use the most often to make sure that, that each right. of the settings. Fit. Yeah. Now let's talk about the cool. We have the arcs, and then we have or, or the arcs, and then we have our radiuses. So the arcs are designed, as you can see from the video as well, it's going on here in the corner. These are laid out like that to give a nice swooping thing for maybe our thicker cables. If we got the room, we want to do a nice swooping one. And then if you continue right down the line of your um, run of your single or your dual uh, eight gauge. But some, sometimes the real estate is tight. You gotta gotta make that really. And you do. So what we've done is we've created along in this kit is we created the right angle. So this one, for example, was used here, and this is the dual right angle. And the neat part is, in order to get your space in the case to stay consistent, just line up any of these two holes along with any of the other pre-drill index holes right there along the chain and you can have that perfect alignment with that. Now, that's one through three corners and radiuses. The kit also comes with something really cool. So what we've looked at, I'm gonna switch swap a few things around really quickly. What we <laughs> looked at was there's these power terminals right here in eight gauge and four gauge is pretty common. They're roughly the same size, right? Right, a lot, a lot of amplifiers, power remote, ground, ground remote, power, but you know, normally that remote is separating the two. Correct. So we have, along with the kit, it comes two pieces. It's the dual eight gauge power terminal kit and the dual four gauge power terminal kit. As you can see from right here, the kit lines up and allows us to index and get that remote wire in there. Now this, this one's a little bit different than the other ones because on the center hole, it is larger. The reason why that is is so that can share a single zip tie instead of doing four holes there. And then the remote turn on leads are offset. 
Yep. So you got the ability to do your, your power wire, your ground wire with three holes instead of four. So that, that keeps them tighter together, keeps them yep. closer. And then offset on that, you've got the, the distance for the remote terminal. Exactly. Now the other neat piece is, is you can use these like we showed here. We use the power terminal uh, for the eight. Uh, it's uh, power wire. We use this actually, put this right up here. We actually use this critter uh, for our speaker leads. So it's completely flexible. It's, it's endless how the uses you can use with it. The another neat feature besides kind of caddy, which we're going to talk to you in about a second, um, the neat feature that we have here is in all the templates itself, it's got the quarter inch hole uh, so we can hang it on any kind of a grid wall or slot wall system that you have. Yeah, we decided to make it as, as flexible as possible. We know that in some shops, the guys have, have room on the floor and boom, you can have yeah. it sitting up there ready to rock and roll and do all your layout mm -hmm. there. Some guys are going to be using it in the install bay and, and they maybe have drawers and they can put it in the drawers in yeah. the install bay. Or if you don't have toolbox space or drawer space, yep. you've got the ability to uh, utilize uh, the hanging. Yeah, exactly. So what we came up with is the clean wire caddy to go with this. So this actually fits in any of the medium drawers on the snap-on boxes. We tried a husky box. So this is going to fit in any of your drawers. So it can actually be kept in actually in your tool chest if you yep. need to. Now, I'm going to throw this over to Chris to talk about something that we're doing with all our caddy systems now that we've, we've now gone to, and he can explain a little bit of the design possibility and the innovation of that caddy. Right. So basically what we've done, it's, it's, a, it's a very simple caddy design. Uh, we've used our, our uh, substrate at the bottom, our red, white, red, that way you, you know exactly what you're getting. But on the side, you're going to see at the bottom a single layer of, and it's what we call our alignment layer. And what that does is that allows each of the pieces to sort of stay where they are. There's, there's no, no wiggle room, they're not falling out, they're not sliding down to the side. So what we have is that positive indexing on the bottom to ensure that you know, you're walking around the, the bay and everything is staying in place. So that was one of the big things that we did. And, and then again, the acrylic labeling on, on the top. But each of these are set up. And if any of you have ever watched the, uh, the TV show Dexter, uh, this is kind of his, uh, his souvenir tray. Uh, that he would hide in the, uh, mm -hmm. in the air conditioning system. So it, it, that was sort of the design parameter for this, but it keeps it very, very uh, safe, secure. You know, always know that a piece is missing. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the biggest thing for having the, uh, yeah. the, the storage caddies. So it gives you nice clean storage inside the toolbox itself. So other than that, we're really excited to bring this to you. We know this is gonna speed up the process quite a bit. We've seen it in action. So check it out. You can always go to kingpinuniversity.com or give us a call or check out our Facebook page at King Pink University. So when are these shipping? Uh, they are shipping now. They're available? They're available and they're shipping now.